In this section, we're going to talk about overriding the block template file or block.tpl.php. In the previous two examples, when you looked at the page and the node templates, it was pretty straightforward finding the template. But with block, we don't have an example template file that's in Bartik. So if you look at the Bartik theme, now again, what we've done is created a sub theme based on the Bartik theme. And so we're leveraging some of the template files that are in Bartik and we look in the template folder, we don't see a block here. So we need to find the block template file that our site is currently using. So go ahead and jump to your browser and enable the theme developer module here. We've already installed it. We just need to click on this checkbox. And what we're going to do is look to see where our blocks are coming from. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on one of these blocks in the left-hand region. Now if we look here, we see that this template file is being pulled from modules slash block slash block.tpl.php. So when we go to override the block template file, this is the one that we're going to use. So let's go ahead and find it, copy it, and put it into our theme directory. I'm going to jump back to our theme directory, and I'm going to scroll up, and I'm going to expand the modules folder here. Then I'm going to expand the block folder and I'm going to copy block.tpl.php down here. Okay, then I'm going to scroll back down to our theme directory and I'm going to paste it in sites, all themes, bat overrides, templates right here. Okay, now let's go ahead and make sure that this is being registered. I'm going to go to the browser. First, I'm going to turn off the theme information dialog box, and then I'm going to clear our caches to rebuild the theme registry. And now let's check to make sure that our block is actually coming from our new template file. I'm going to turn on the theme developer module, and I'm going to hover over a block. And we see here that we now have a template being used in our themes bat overrides folder. So this is what we want. Let's go ahead and take a look at the block template file to get a sense of where it begins and where it ends inside of the whole scheme of the templates that are being used. I'm going to jump back to the theme directory and I'm going to open up our block.tpl.php file. As with most template files, we have a list of the variables that are available to us at the top of the page. If we scroll down, we see that the HTML is actually very limited for a block. First, we have a wrapper div that includes a unique ID and it prints out the block HTML ID. And we'll take a look at what that is in just a moment. Classes that can be defined by pre-processing functions. And then we render the title prefix. We render the title of the block, which is actually called subject in this case. We render the suffix of the title and then we print out the content, and that's it. Pretty simple. So if we wanted to modify this content in some way or this structure in some way for a particular block or for a range of blocks in a region, for example, we can do that. So our next step is to take a look at how we can override block template files for specific situations. And there are a few that are available to us through the template file naming conventions. So let's go ahead and take a look at that next. We have three options when it comes to modifying block template file names for specific situations. The base template that we're working with is block.tpl.php, and our first option in specifying a more specific block template file is for a module name. So let's go ahead and take a look at the search block and at the three different ways that we can modify the name for specific situations. The first is by module name. So if we were going to target this, we would use block, double hyphen, and then the name of the module, .tpl.php. For the search block, the name of the module is search. The second way is being more specific for modules that have more than one block, and we would use a convention that uses the module name plus the delta both separated by double hyphens. So for example, if we're using the search form block that's provided by the search module, we would use block, double hyphen, search, double hyphen, form, 
which is the delta for this particular block. There's one other option, which is to specify a region. So we can use block dash dash, block dash dash sidebar first in order to target the first sidebar on our theme. Now note that sidebar and first are separated by a single hyphen. This is because this is part of the same region name and we're not actually separating different parts of the template file name. We saw the same convention in a previous example where we were talking about the content wrapper template file where content and wrapper were separated by a single hyphen as well. Let's look at one more example, the main content block of the page. So if we're using the module name, it's going to be block dash dash system dot tpl dot php. If we're going to use the specific delta, it would be block dash dash system dash dash main dot tpl dot php. And if we're going to use the region, it would be block dash dash content dot tpl dot php. Now in the next step, what we're going to do is look at how we can find this information. Sometimes it's not clear what module a block belongs to or what region it's in, or specifically what delta a particular block has. So we'll look at how to use Firebug in order to inspect the block and region elements in order to find the information that we need to specify it in our template file name. Okay, go ahead and navigate to your browser again. And let's go ahead and use Firebug in order to inspect the blocks in the left-hand column. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and right click on one of these blocks and click inspect element. And this pulls up some information down here about the div. This div has an ID of block dash search dash form. Any div that begins with block dash will usually be a outer region div for the block element. So when we looked at our block template file, let's go ahead and jump back to the editor and look here. We see that there's a div ID equals, and then we're printing the block HTML ID. And this is the ID that we're looking at now in Firebug. I'm gonna jump back to the browser. The different parts here are block, dash, and then the name of the module, dash, the name of the specific delta for this block. So if we're going to create a template file based on this, it would be block dash dash search dash dash form. In situations where the module name or the delta name has two parts to it, they'll be separated with underscores instead of dashes. So we know that the dash is the delineator between the module and the delta and block right here. If we look at the next block here, you can see it's being highlighted in the browser section as well as I hover over it. This is block-system-navigation. So system is the name of the module and navigation is the name of the delta. If we wanna know the region, we can simply look a little higher in the HTML structure to the div that has the class of region and look at the next part of this class. So the first class is gonna be region. The next part is going to be the specific region that we're looking at and it's prefixed with region dash. So this is sidebar first, and this is the full name of the region separated with dashes. Let's go ahead and do a couple quick examples. I'm gonna jump back to the theme directory, and here with block, let's go ahead and create a block template for all of the blocks in our sidebar region. I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this, and we're going to rename it block dash dash sidebar dash first. Okay, now I'm going to jump back to the browser and let's rebuild our theme registry. I'm going to go ahead and close out Firebug here. Okay, now everything in this first sidebar should be our new block template. I'm going to go ahead and open up the theme developer dialog and I'm going to click on a block on the left. And you see here that we're using the block sidebar first in our bat overrides theme. And let's just compare this with one of the blocks in the main content. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this. I'm gonna jump up to the block level. And we see here that we're using the bat overrides block.tpl.php file for this section. So 
we've successfully overridden just the items in the left-hand column. Now, if we wanted to override just the search block, let's go ahead and create a template for that. I'm going to jump back to the theme directory. I'm going to go ahead and copy the block template file again. And I'm going to rename it with the module name, which is search, dash dash search, and then dash dash form, which is the delta. I'm going to jump back to the browser. Let's make sure the theme developer module is turned off. And let's rebuild our cache again. Now let's turn the theme developer module back on. And let's take a look at these two blocks. I'm going to go ahead and click on the search block. And we see over here that we're using the block search form template file, which is right. And if we clicked on the navigation block, we see that it's using the block sidebar first template file. So everything seems to be working just right.